Alright guys, Konza here, bringing you some FTL action. Red Tail Adventures, I guess EP3 now. We are in Sector 3. Idea for this playthrough is going to be real simple. We'll just try to get through this sector. I fancy that. <laughs> okay, you find a number of ships fleeing a small part, no, a small space station. You hail them asking what's wrong. Help. We're being overrun by some sort of giant sp alien spiders. Send crew to help. Oh yeah, alien spiders are no joke. Leave them alone. Um, let's leave them alone. You can't risk fighting some unknown alien on every backwater station you come across. You prepare to jump. So there'll be a fair bit of RNG on that. And I don't know, maybe my mantises could have helped. But... Yeah, no, I reckon we would have just lost crew. And not something that I am super, a super massive fan of. I don't want to uh, lose my crew unnecessarily. You detect and retrieve a escape pod floating nearby. You consider returning it into space when you learn it's a mantis. Uh, pry open. A man bursts out of the life pod screaming and clawing his way into the corner. A rare survivor of a mantis captivity. Once calm, the survivor offers to join your crew for a time. Okay, cool. So we're now one crew up. What we'll do is we'll put this little cheeky chappy on sensors, so then we'll be able to see into enemy ships, which will be super useful. We'll save the positions, and then we'll move to the next sector. I've only got three fuel left, so... We'll go here, and then we're trying to get as close to the exit as we can, and then hopefully find something that uh, will allow us to refuel. Who knows why the Mantis would ever venture so close to a sun? Perhaps it makes for more of a challenge. Okay, so we're fighting a Mantis ship. So they're going to try and teleport onto ours. They've got what looks like a fancy charged ion blaster, and then a heavy blaster as well. What we are going to do is we're gonna focus down their weapons and then we're gonna go for the shields and then as their crew jumps across I'll use my madnesses to fight them and then hopefully their ship will then start burning up and they'll get into a bit of trouble. So it's in the medibate which is perfect for us which means I can send both my madnesses in so long as he doesn't take it out we are into a, on for a good one because they can't actually attack us like that. Well, they can attack us, but we won't take any, well, much damage because we'll just be healing for the simple fact that we are in our medibay. Okay, looks like their shields are, well, their weapons are pretty much done. Now we're just working on their shields, take those down, put my guys back into their positions. And I'm going to need to pull my Mantis and my pilot across because where they're not shooting at us I don't need to worry about uh, my evade at the moment and their ship's catching fire pretty good fire's pretty much done oh right the ship explodes leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material two fuel really good two missiles good 34 scrap which is really good and we need to prepare to like jump out of here as soon as we can oh wait why am I doing it this way that's really silly Let's jump. <laughs> I'm not waiting to get hit by a solar flare. Upon arriving at the beacon, you are hailed by a well-spoken mantis. Hail, traveller. These are dangerous times. Perhaps you find yourself in need of our services. He appears to be a trader. Who would have guessed? <laughs> we have a drone controller. Which we could actually use. And a defense drone would be actually super tasty because then we could shoot down missiles. Hull repair is not really a thing because it just costs too much. Anti-drone stuns combat drones attacking your ship. Mm. Decent but won't be able to afford it. And the defense drone would be pretty tasty. But what we want is we want all, this all of their fuel. Not to worry about uh, my hull at the moment because it's pretty good. What we're doing is we're just venting all the oxygen into space in this area so the fires will go out. 
Hopefully it doesn't spread. We'll get our guys healed up and then we'll get everyone back onto their stations. We'll close the doors. Everyone back to where they need to be. And we're in a pretty good situation right now. What we will do is we will try to level up our shields. Make us just a little bit more tanky. So the enemy fleet is fairly far away, so I reckon we can go across and down and then work our way back up. And that'd be pretty nice. Be able to explore a decent amount of the sector. A derelict and still smoking mantis vessel floats by. The battle must have been recent. A surviving crew beam, beam aboard. Prepare for a fight. Intruders on board continue. So what we're going to do is we're just going to open up the airlocks. Which means that they'll start to take damage because they will begin to suffocate. What we'll do is we'll keep that door open as well. Keep an eye on my guys. My mantis is taking a bit of a kick in. And if we can just keep kiting back as we lose each sector or each section. So then as the oxygen gets stripped from the ship they'll slowly die off. And then we don't need to worry about having too much of a fight. And looks like no one took any damage. We'll close the doors. Oh, and that's open the doors. We don't want that. <laughs> Keep the doors closed. Wait for the oxygen return. Someone back to normal. And then everyone back to their positions. All right, that went fairly well. Could have gone better, but definitely could have gone worse. And I reckon we'll be able to complete this trip and get back and then ideally get a uh, get a bunch of extra loot from the sector. You cross paths with a mantis ship. That looks like to have had a dozen of layers of armor plated add, added over what must have been a hundred years career. This captain is a legendary thief. Kaza Kalaki. Yeah, that uh, sounds about right. Your crew look frightened. Mantis crew member attempt to help them. Your Mantis crew member steps forward and he and the Mantis <laughs> perform a weird kind of alien hacker. You meanwhile a charge the battle systems. Okay, looks like they do want to fight. They don't have a teleporter which is interesting but they do have missiles and a type of ion cannon so we just focus down their weapon systems perfect so we take down one layer of their weapon systems my other weapons will go and neutralize the second set then I'll put two weapons onto their shields so it won't be long until we're just able just to shred them. Do need to worry about sinking my heavy laser with my basic lasers because where it's got a slightly faster fire rate, what it means is it's getting out of sync. So their shields are coming back up before my next set of weapons uh, go through. The Mantis fights to the last and you pick the scraps from the corpse of his ship. You sense though that his death has left a great mystery unsolved. Yeah, I finished him off a little bit quick. I believe that is how you get the Mantis ship. So, <laughs> yeah, let him, uh, let him fight, but then let him escape. And then uh, you just follow the storyline. You receive a transmission. Sorry, sir. This is nothing personal, but we are under orders. The rebel, sh the rebel ship's weapons go hot. Oh, I've got to work on my reading. This isn't going well for me. <laughs> okay, they're teleporting in. Not a massive issue. I'll send a mantis in just to distract him. Now he's trying to get through. Yet again, not a big one. It will slowly suffocate in there even if he gets through.
Okay, they got one blaster firing at us. Obviously not a massive deal. So long as we can keep their rocket offline, we are in a pretty good place. Once it takes a bit more damage, we will need to look into taking out their shields. Oh, he's back. Put my mantis in. We'll open the door. My mantis will heal from being in the many bay. Okay, my engines are offline. I'll get my mantis in to help heal. I think I'm going to need to take out the shields. The shields are taking so much of the damage off our attacks. You clearly bested us. We merely request our lives. One fuel, two missiles, fighting scrap. Yeah, not a chance. That is not a good deal. And of course we bested you. You're a bunch of rebels. I'll get the Mantis and NG and the Zoltan all to heal up whilst we have a little bit of chance. There is a fire in the weapon space so we don't need to worry about that coming back online anytime soon. The ship explodes leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap materials. One fuel, one drone part and 29 scrap. Not bad. Let's get everyone back to their positions. And then we'll start moving back up towards the jump point. A rebel captain appears on the screen. I thought we had doomed to a backwater assignments. This is my chance to get back into the commander's good grace. Charge the weapons. Continue. So they got a fire beam. And we have an environmental effect. You're close to a pulsar. Periodic waves of electromagnetic energy will disrupt your systems. Systems. So you've got a laser, a fire laser, and a light laser. They can't actually get through our shields unless we get hit by the EMP. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus down their shields as quickly as we can. So then we just don't need to worry about their weapons being able to really do any damage to us. My shields and weapons are offline. And my stuff's still offline. Wow. Okay. Gonna need to figure this one out. I can't open the airlocks, they're offline. My medical bay is damaged. Gonna move my crew across. Okay, got my weapons back online now. So we're gonna have to focus down their shields and their weapons and their drones. So we're just gonna shoot like the whole ship and hope for the best, basically. My Mantis is taking a lot of damage. Their ship's nearly down. Okay, cool. Take everything we have and let's both forget this happened. I kind of need to accept their offer. Yeah, I've got to accept the offer. Um, if I can get those doors back online, I can basically just open the airlocks. with the airlocks open and they haven't taken out the shields well they haven't taken out the oxygen I mean we should in theory just be able to vent vent the ship to space put out all the fires then close everything up and not have to worry about the fires again And get the ship back online. Well, that's the plan anyway. <laughs> Whether or not that happens, I don't know. And those iron blasts are annoying. Close all doors. Oh, 
going to just try to get as much fixed up as we can. Medi bays all back online. The bridge is nearly done. The bridge is done. Everyone back into their positions except you two because you two need to go heal. <laughs> this took a while to fix, even though we weren't being attacked. I mean, if we're still being attacked, man, it would have been in some serious issues right there. Let's hope we can just get out of here sometime soon and that we don't jump into another battle. Because if we jump into another battle whilst all of our systems are down, they'll still be down going in. So once the EMPs are off, we'll then jump. Okay, that's the best we're going to get. Wow, okay. <laughs> now we're back onto a, uh, onto a sun. <laughs> Who knows why the Mantis would venture so close to a sun? Perhaps it makes for more of a challenge. So we know they're going to jump across to us. Go get everything online. They don't have much in the way of shields or weapons. We've got a Mantis coming in against our oxygen. We'll just vent to space. Hopefully we'll start taking damage before it knocks out the oxygen. Then he'll try to move forward. What we'll do is then we'll just vent the next side to space as well, so when he goes in, he's already going to be taking damage. Okay, they're pulling back because they're taking set areas on fire. And it looks like we'll have this pretty soon. Their shields are down, fire's in their ship, we can close all of the doors. A little bit more fires come into our ship, not a massive deal, that'll be out in a sec. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap. One fuel, two missiles, 28 scrap. Okay. That's cool, that fire will be out. And then we should be able to jump before the next. Um, pulse come through. Which obviously will be a good thing. At this point, you almost expect to fight with the Mantis, but this beacon appears to be entirely devoid of other ships. You take this time to catch your breath and double check your systems, that was a waste of fuel. Okay, let's go to the exit. We're now down to our last fuel, so obviously, <laughs> winning. You've arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. You come across a pirate in hot pursuit of an unidentified ship. You quickly receive a transmission from the pirate ship. Stay out of this fight and we'll make it worth your while. Accept their bribe. One fuel, two missiles, 14 scrap. Try to be a hero and attack the pirates. They've got two missiles and a light laser. So we're going to attack the pirates. Well, one missile and a light laser. The pirate ship stops its pursuit and knocks its weapons onto you. Continue. And they got a fire beam ship. Everything will go onto their weapon systems because obviously we want that offline, kind of makes sense. We'll get him into the Medi Bay. Okay, we'll go on to attacking their shields now as well. Because the fire is stopping them from repairing. Oh, that's cool. Their um, <laughs> their drone went in front of my laser and just got blown out of the sky. The missiles back on, which obviously isn't something that we want. Just went and miss everything. Fantastic. Love it when that happens. Taking our shields. Well, our knocked our engine down a bit. Cool weapons are offline for them. Cool, their ship's down. Uh, I was trying to think through all of that. <laughs> it turns out thinking and trying to play a game at the same time. Not my strong suit. The pirate explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. You go to examine the ship you just saved. You were too late. A whole breach deprived the crew of oxygen during the fight with the pirate. You salvage what you can. Okay, well we got a lot of scrap, and our ship's looking in 
Well, we're not doing great. We got very, very little in the way of hull, and we've only got one fuel. <laughs> so, yeah, this could definitely be going better. We didn't get any more weapons this in this sector, which is, you know, something that happens. But we are ready to jump to sector three. We'll go to NG controlled space instead of the Zoltan one because uh, their shields are always super annoying. You arrive in NG space, the Mantis have become threatening to the NG core worlds, but you should be able to stock up for your journey. Right, so now we're in sector four. Yeah, sector four. I need to bring this episode to an end, so thank you very much for watching episode three of the Red Tail. I've been Conzi, and I'll catch you on the next one.